Capital punishment is far from dead and is still widely practiced around the world. It doesn't matter how you feel about this arcane punishment for some of the world's worst criminals. For now, it's here to stay. One of the strangest aspects of Death Row has always been the last meal request. Faced with their looming mortality, these inmates made some odd requests before ultimately meeting their maker, Ronnie Lee Gardner. Food-wise, convicted murderer Ronnie Lee Gardner's order isn't all that strange. He enjoyed steak, lobster tail, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream. But Gardner took it a step further. He requested dinner and a show. He made the audacious request to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy before he was executed. The fact that he was approved was crazy enough. Too bad The Hobbit wasn't out at the time. He could have gotten another nine hours thanks to Peter Jackson, Ted Bundy. Everyone knows the infamous Ted Bundy. Maybe we're all a little too familiar with the serial killer by now. Bundy rejected making any requests for his final meal and was given the standard meal of the day in his prison. He was treated to medium rare steak, eggs over easy, hash browns, toast, milk, and juice. And clearly, he wasn't hungry because he didn't touch his default last meal. I guess there's something about the looming prospects of death, not much of an appetite creator. David Leon Woods. We talk about weird and strange, but let's hit it home with a more depressing last meal request. David Leon Woods spent 22 years on death row. The thought of knowing you're going to die by capital punishment for 22 years puts an awful spin on the saying, dead man walking. His execution was set for May 4, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. His final meal was a pizza and a whole birthday cake, which he enjoyed with his family. It's unclear if he was prematurely celebrating his birthday because he wouldn't make it to the actual date of August 7th, but one can only speculate. Alan Lee Davis. Alan Lee Davis was arrested and charged with the murder of Nancy Weiler, who was three months pregnant at the time of her death. For the brutal murder, he received the death penalty in 1982 and was executed in 1999. For his final meal, this large 350 pound man feasted. Davis ordered lobster tail, fried potatoes, and a half pound of fried shrimp, six ounces of fried clams, half a loaf of garlic bread, and a 32 ounce A&W root beer. Due to his weight, his execution via electric chair didn't go as smoothly as it should have. As a result, Florida stopped using this as a means to carry out the death penalty. Victor Harry Figure. Sentenced to death in 1963 for kidnap and murder, Victor Harry Figure was set to hang for his crimes. So what did this 28-year-old man have for his final meal? Well, Figure made the odd decision to request a very minimalistic, I'd argue worst, last meal. He chose a single olive. Not just any old olive, though. It had to have a pit inside. After Figure was executed, the pit was found in his pocket. It's long been theorized that he intended to be buried with it, hoping the pit would germinate and grow into an olive tree that symbolizes peace. Thomas J. Grasso, 1995. Convicted murderer Thomas J. Grasso ordered up a storm for his final meal. Grasso ordered half a dozen barbecued spare ribs, two dozen steamed clams, a double cheeseburger from Burger King, two strawberry milkshakes, half a pumpkin pie with diced strawberries and whipped cream. One of his signature requests was a can of spaghetti and meatballs in the form of SpaghettiOs. This was clearly important to him because when he received gourmet spaghetti and meatballs, he wasn't happy. When the waiter just didn't listen, his final words actually spoke to the mistake as he complained he'd never received his SpaghettiOs. He's a ride or die fan, obviously. Clarence Ray Allen. Clarence Ray Allen is the second oldest inmate to be executed when it comes to the death penalty. Convicted of three counts of murder in 1980, Allen served time in prison until his execution in 2006 at age 76. Allen, a diabetic, opted for a healthier last meal, which included buffalo steak, fried chicken, sugar-free pecan pie, and sugar-free walnut ice cream. You'd think he'd enjoy some sugar, considering he's going to be executed anyways. So what's the worst that can happen? Death by pecan pie? Oba Chandler. After brutally murdering a mother and her two daughters, Oba Chandler was sentenced to death in Florida. Chandler ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea, and a coffee for his last meal. It's strange, because it sounds disgusting. Carla Faye Tucker. In 1984, Carla Faye Tucker was convicted of murdering two people with a pickaxe during a burglary. Yikes, what a way to go. It was alleged that she was highly intoxicated at the time on a cocktail of substances. After 14 years on death row, she was given a lethal injection. She had one banana, one peach, and a salad with ranch or Italian dressing for her last meal. She's all about putting healthy things into her body. The body's a temple, you know. Troy Davis. The execution of Troy Davis is another contentious case of whether or not the criminal was actually guilty of the crime. 
Davis was arrested and sentenced to death over the murder of a Savannah police officer. He faced his execution recently in 2011, and for his final meal, he declined the tradition stating this meal wouldn't be his last. Well, needless to say, that's a little creepy, and unfortunately not the case as he died by lethal injection in Georgia. His case is still being challenged to this day as many believe Davis to have been an innocent man. John Spankelink While some death row inmates are looking for a way to stick it to the system by ordering lavish meals with hefty price tags, John Spankelink went a different route. In 1979, the convicted murderer was about to meet his maker thanks to the Florida State Prison. When asked what he'd like for his last meal, he asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels in place of a meal option. A heavy drinker, Spankelink was adamant about hopping on the sauce at least one more time, even including the prison's superintendent in the process. Ricky Ray Rector After being denied service at a local restaurant in 1989, Ricky Ray Rector did what anyone might do at the time. He left a bad review. No, of course not. He murdered the manager. In the process, he injured two bystanders, and later, when he went to confess, he ended up killing a cop he'd known since childhood. He attempted suicide but messed up and ended up lobotomizing himself. His last meal included steak, chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and pecan pie. He ate everything but the pecan pie, which he told the god he was saving for later. Gary Gilmore Some go hard, but none went harder than Gary Gilmore when it came to final meals. After a 1976 gas station robbery gone wrong where Gilmore murdered two people, Gilmore shot his own hand and left a trail of blood back to where his truck was being repaired down the road. He was caught, convicted, and sentenced to death. His final meal request is a doozy. Gilmore requested one hamburger, hard-boiled eggs, one baked potato, several cups of coffee, and three shots of contraband Jack Daniels whiskey. He went for it, that's for sure. Philip Workman Workman was a controversial execution for Tennessee back in 2007 as many didn't believe Philip was actually guilty of the crimes. Numerous attempts were made to slow down or stop his execution altogether. Judging by his presence on this list, it's safe to say that it was ultimately unsuccessful. He requested a vegetarian pizza for his final meal, but not for him, but instead a homeless person on the streets. His request was declined. However, that didn't stop local Tennesseans from flooding the streets with pizza for those in need. If Workman indeed was guilty, has never been definitively proven. Still, one thing is clear, for a night, he made people help their fellow men and brought out their better angels, not their darkest demons. Angel Neves Diaz Angel Neves Diaz was sentenced to death over the murder of a strip club owner in 1979, but he wouldn't face lethal injection until 2006. As a result, Diaz declined his last meal and instead was served the regular prison meal set for Wednesdays. His final meal was shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisps, and ice cream. But of course, he declined to eat even the designated prison meal. His reasoning was seemingly out of protest. He saw the death penalty as an act of vengeance and extreme cowardice of the system and humanity. Seems times have caught up to Diaz's way of viewing this arcane practice of capital punishment. Timothy McVeigh The infamous Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh was sentenced to death in Indiana for the murder of over 168 people and the injuries of nearly 700. McVeigh would face lethal injection at the age of 33, and for his final meal, he wanted ice cream, and he wanted a lot of it. His flavor of choice? Mint chocolate chip. Sweet tooth or not, that's just too much ice cream for one person. Surely, by the time he got through it all, it was nothing more than a cold green soup. Worth it? Bruno Richard Hauptmann. Bruno Richard Hauptmann was convicted of killing a baby in 1936 in New Jersey. He was sentenced to death, rightfully so, and made a rather bizarre set of food orders when it came to his last meal. Hauptmann ordered celery, olives, a salmon salad, corn fritters, sliced cheese, a fruit salad, and a slice of cake for dessert, served with coffee and milk. Shame there weren't too many fast food restaurants at the time. Robert Dale Conklin After murdering his lover while on parole for armed robbery, Robert Dale Conklin was sentenced to death. However, when it came to his final meal, he spared no expense. This didn't mean just ordering a lot of food, it meant ordering some of the most luxurious food items on the menu. Conklin made requests for deveined shrimp, sautéed in garlic and lemon, filet mignon wrapped with bacon, baked potato with butter, sour cream, and chives with bacon bits, corn on the cob, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread, goat's cheese, cantaloupe, vanilla bean ice cream, apple pie, and iced tea. Eileen Wernos Eileen lived on far beyond her death in 2002. Why? Her infamous last words were, to put it mildly, crazy. She firmly believed she'd rise again from death like Jesus. Her final meal request seems tame at first. A simple cup of coffee. Black coffee to make it worse. 
Considering her motivation of defying death, maybe she thought the key was a little caffeine in her system. I understand where she's coming from. I also live by the saying, don't even think about executing me before I've had my coffee. Stephen Michael Woods Jr. The controversial case of Stephen Michael Woods Jr. isn't lost on anyone. Having murdered two young drug dealers, Woods protested his innocence the entire time he was on death row. He proclaimed his innocence right up until the execution itself, telling the executioners that people were about to witness a murder. Chilling stuff. His final meal request, before being executed by lethal injection, was a four-meat pizza, two hamburgers with bacon, fries, garlic breadsticks with marinara sauce, two pounds of bacon, four fried chicken breasts, ice creams, five chicken fried steaks, Pepsi, root beer, Mountain Dew, and sweet tea. Whether or not he's guilty is beside the point. His digestive system will tell you a crime was committed in some form that day. Peter J. Mignel Peter J. Mignel most definitely understood the assignment when it came to what he'd enjoy for his last meal. His last meal request is one of the largest of any served since 2004. Convicted of robbery and murder, Mignel confessed to his crimes and didn't fight the punishment that was coming his way. So, when it came time to enjoy his last meal, it's safe to say he did just that. Mignel ordered a whopping 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, pizza with jalapenos, chocolate cake, vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, pecan fudge ice cream, fruit cake, and 16 liters of soda, including Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. If death row didn't kill him, this order surely would have done the job eventually. Odell Barnes Another instance of uncertainty as to whether the criminal charged and executed actually committed the crime, Odell Barnes was convicted of murdering Helen Bass in 1989. He was sentenced to death and faced lethal injection in March of 2000. For his final meal, he didn't order food. He ordered justice, equality, and world peace. Sadly, these weren't on the list of approved items, and therefore they were denied. We were so close to getting them until Texas law stepped in. Gerald Lee Mitchell Gerald Lee Mitchell was sentenced to death over a drug deal gone wrong, in which Mitchell ended up killing a man. While facing death by lethal injection, Mitchell had only one request for a final meal, Jolly Rancher's candy. At least he went out on a high, a sugar high. Robert Alton Harris 1992 Robert Alton Harris would be executed by the gas chamber for the murders of two San Diego teens. Harris would be the first execution in the state of California since 1967. His final meal request was an extensive list of items, including 21-piece KFC bucket, two Domino's pizzas, ice cream, jelly beans, Pepsi, and camel cigarettes. I was on board with his last meal until he chose Pepsi. Now that's just criminal. Along with the murders and stuff, obviously. Lawrence Russell Brewer One of the most vile criminals on this list, Lawrence Russell Brewer and his friends committed one of the most atrocious hate crimes of the 90s. His actions even resulted in the Hate Crimes Prevention Act being written into law by the federal government in 2009. His final meal was an absolute feast of two chicken steaks, a pound of barbecued meat, a double bacon cheeseburger, pizza, fudge, and ice cream. But in what was a twisted turn of events, Brewer instead left this vast amount of food untouched. Brewer's actions actually prompted the Texas Senate to ban the last meal practice. So yeah, he was a schmuck till the end. Stephen Wayne Anderson Stephen Wayne Anderson was a dangerous criminal, and in 1980 he murdered 81-year-old Elizabeth Lyman, which resulted in his death sentence. However, Anderson was only executed by lethal injection in 2002. For his final meal, he ordered an interesting array of foods. His last meal included two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, peach pie, chocolate chip ice cream, and a big helping of radishes on the side. So many things are going on here that he may just have murdered his taste buds on the way out. John Wayne Gacy Known widely as the Killer Clown, John Wayne Gacy was sentenced to death in Illinois for the rape and murder of 33 people. I think it's safe to say he's not the first choice for performing of children's birthday parties. Gacy planned to indulge for his last meal, opting to enjoy a bucket of original recipe KFC, french fries, 12 fried shrimp, and a pound of strawberries. It's a strange combination. But when you've only got one shot at the last meal, you go big or you go back to your cell. Velma Barfield Velma Barfield, aka Death Row Granny, was the first woman subjected to the death sentence in the US in 22 years when she was executed in 1982. After killing six people, she was sentenced to death by lethal injection. This seemingly sweet little old Christian lady might make you think she enjoyed a scone with tea as her last meal you'd be wrong. Her final meal was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of coke. 
It's the little things, you know. Gary Carl Simmons Jr. Gary Carl Simmons Jr. was a small town butcher, but one night he and his brother murdered 21 year old Jeffrey Wolf over a debt. It was also alleged that he assaulted Wolf's girlfriend, which combined with murder resulted in a death sentence. So, Simmons, for his last meal, went big. He ordered a Pizza Hut medium super supreme deep dish with double portions of tomato sauce, mushrooms, onions, jalapeno pepper slices, and pepperoni, 10 packs of parmesan cheese, 10 packs of ranch dressing, one family-sized bag of Doritos nacho cheese chips, eight ounces of jalapeno nacho cheese, four ounces of sliced jalapeno peppers, two large strawberry milkshakes, two cherry Cokes, one supersized order of McDonald's french fries, and two pints of strawberry ice cream. It's reported that Simmons actually managed to consume more than half of this insane order. James Edward Smith After fatally shooting a man in Texas during an armed robbery gone wrong, James Edward Smith was sentenced to death in 1983. Fast forward seven years and death is creeping around the corner for Smith. When asked what he'd like to eat before facing the executioner, Smith requested a lump of soil. In no way is this a joke or hyperbole, he literally wanted dirt. He was denied his request, which surprises me more than Smith's request to be honest. He was even specific that he wanted rakunda soil. Some believe he intended to eat it, others thought he planned to perform voodoo rituals with it. So either way, weird because dirt isn't on the list of allowed final meal options, because it's dirt, he was given a yogurt. What would your last meal be? Let us know in the comments down below.